Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we're talking about Core Keeper again. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how to kill Gorm the Devourer here. Now, uh, I don't have any glow going on. You'll see it here in a second. But I want to talk about what Gorm does, where, where they go, how they move, and how we beat Gorm. So first things first, Gorm is the big lava uh, larva worm that goes around the entire map. In general, you'll see it by the slime trails. You can see it kind of to my right of my character right now uh, that goes through there and does all that stuff. So with that all being said, though, uh, Gorm is a won't stop. So you can start doing damage to Gorm. Gorm will not stop for you he there, there's nothing that'll change right they'll just take you out they'll just keep moving right let's blow through they spawn slimes behind them but um in order to get it, the boss to stop and fight you you have to do an, a significant amount of damage to gorm uh specifically it's around 50 percent of their health i think it might have been closer to 60 to get them to stop so what we did is we created a trench right along the slime trail right the slime trail is always the same slime trail so we could keep up with gorm uh in order to kill it and make sure that we had enough health for it so what we did is we created tunnels on the left side uh, of the thing so we could run with it shooting slingshots maybe swinging a sword if we have the opportunity we also went and got a bunch of spike traps made them uh and also got a bunch of the flesh traps uh, or the bone traps uh that you find over in the flesh side of the world near the hive mine uh so we got those to set them up right on top of gorm so that when we were getting it low and I said, we have another person going up north to clear the, the upper left side. Um, I dropped some bridges down here and we created, but then we just try to pile on a bunch of damage really fast while Gorm's running to get it to engage us. Once it does engage, and I want to get to this first, it's going to spin in huge circles, tearing through the ground near it. So if you have your house near it, I would, you're probably going to lose your house. Um, but it's going to tear through a bunch of circles. And what's really important is that I would say every single person has a shield. It's not just about having ranged items, but make sure you have a shield because that mitigation when Gorm runs over you, and you'll see it when we do this boss fight, is extremely important. So you'll see the initial drop it down. We'll see the initial engage. We're going to go through and talk about the engage, what I'm doing, um, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get to that section of the video. Okay, so here we are. We have two people up top getting ready to engage Gorm. As you can see, we have this tunnel on the left. We're going to start shooting them, wailing on them with swords, axes, hitting them. You can see the damage going down. Our second person is down at the bottom with a bunch of spike traps, prepping them. You can see we're trying to bring them down. Look at that health drop, about 50%. And then Gorm just starts spinning and dropping damage, dropping all kinds of things. This is where I was talking about you need that shield, right, to protect yourself, right? I don't I don't realize it initially. Um, I'm like, okay, I got to shoot my slingshot. We're trying to dodge Gorm, so slingshots and switching between the two uh, but you can see my fellow members do go down quite a bit but then i get my shield right you see how that mitigation happened and then it buys me time to go ahead and heal myself you try to dodge left and right try to throw your slingshot at it to allow it to hit it if you can swing your sword drop some light and you're just gonna see me kind of dance around with gorm right trying to keep uh it close hit it with some slingshot bolts um and then try to swing on an axe a couple times you know and just really trying to keep damage and then you try to defend see when i do that defense with that shield it's extremely important to keeping yourself alive we are not on hard course you'll see my buddies coming back in to help me out here uh trying to help me out and then here comes gorm uh there really is no rhyme or reason of who gorm attacks gorm pretty much attacks the first person it sees when it converts around with its face um so you have to keep it going um you can see i get that shield up and that shield is clutch for keeping you alive so highly 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 recommend you have a shield for every single person on this one um i know you want to do a light source just do glow food and it gives you enough of a light source to survive you'll see us kind of dancing around swinging here i missed a couple shots with the slime going down it's always difficult um as gorm comes back in here and we take Gorm down. So we're very excited uh, to have that happen. You get your fantastic chest, get all your new loot and all your new items. But as I said, that shield is so important. I cannot describe to you how important that shield is. So have glow food uh, to keep yourself glowing. Get that shield equipped. Switch between ranged and your melee uh, weapon. Those are the most important things you're going to have. Uh, I mostly use range. You'll see a couple swipes. I do use my melee weapon when Gorm's coming down initially, right? Because it's so much more damage. But when we're trying to dodge and stuff and trying 
trying to keep our distance. That's where you want to go to that melee weapon and keep that shield up. Don't forget to grab some of those buffs and stuff to keep yourself healing, keep yourself with extra armor, all kinds of stuff. As you can see, I have tons of buffs rolling on me. Also, don't forget that movement speed one. It helps a ton on this. But that's going to do it. That's how you defeat Gorm in Core Keeper. I hope this video helps you. If it did, please think about giving this video a thumbs up. Also think about subscribing if you enjoy tutorials like this, game reviews, Let's Plays, all kinds of great stuff that we do on the channel. And it means all the, the world to me that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But if you have one thing to add, if you think there's a better way to do it, let me know down in the comments down below. Please let me know. I love hearing that feedback. But I hope you stay happy, stay healthy, stay great. And we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.